Hello, Kia e Nero Diaries here on the uh, 17th of October. Uh, Mrs. E Nero has been away in the UK for two weeks now. I've got another week of being a bachelor boy. Anyway, uh, it's quite a nice day, clear and dry. Uh, so I'm on my way out to the Ile de Ré on the Atlantic coast. Um, charged up to 80% uh, overnight, which should be plenty enough to get me there and back without a charge but if I f I think there are charges on the island so part of this is sort of uh, seeing what the charging situation is like um, so I'm uh, going just for a few miles down the auto route and uh, just stopped off to uh, have a bio break and um, the uh, Isvizia corridor charger that's marked here is out of service but it doesn't actually tell you it's out of service as you approach the service station as as it was as some of the others have been i think it's absolutely appalling that um you know this network which is uh was originally the the, the first network in france i guess it's the equivalent of the ecotricity network in the uk um they've had this problem with their chargers uh, since march and they've done absolutely nothing as far as i can see to fix them they they've just been out of service and um i would say that's probably half at least half of all the rapid chargers on the french motorway networks so it's pretty poor actually um so anyway uh just an update on the service i, I had done on this car uh, a couple of weeks ago 30,000 kilometer service uh, cost me 147 euros. Um, they changed the brake oil. They changed the cabin filter. They gave it a good coat of looking at, I guess. Um, and they updated my sat nav. Now, interesting, they didn't charge me for that, as I know some people in the UK have been charged like 40 pounds for it. And I've since learned you can actually do it yourself if you can be bothered uh, to work it out. The the, the software is available on the e Nero. Uh, Facebook uh, group uh, anyway since they've done it I can now see all the charges oh, well I guess not all the charges it, it's always going to be a bit out of date but uh, certainly they appear on the map and the map is is much better they, they've done something to the map which improved it from the original first edition uh, as I got the car in 2019 anyway uh, about another 70 80 kilometers to go out to the coast from here uh, so we'll see what it's like so we're just going through the uh, payage for the Ile de Ré ah, seems to be a bit of a problem Somebody's decided they would don't want to go or it's not working, I don't know. <laughs> Bonjour. So no special prices for an electric car to go across the beautiful bridge of the Ile de Ré. This is going to come out on the video. But... See a little piece of the Atlantic Ocean here. So, um, yeah, it's, it's 120 kilometres from home to come out here. Um, and when you get to the west of New York, you're going. Um, into some very flat country. It's uh, it, it's uh, called the Mare Poitevin, and it's the second biggest uh, wetland area in France after the Camargue. Um, so uh, what that means is um, pretty efficient on the on the car. I've uh, been doing about thirteen point seven to fourteen kilowatt hours and. It's pretty fast roads. Um, the last 45 kilometres have been mostly on dual carriageway, doing uh, 
it's sort of 110 kilometers an hour so that's not bad but uh, it's quite chilly this morning but the uh, but the temperature's up to 16 now and so I haven't bothered with the heating There's a rapid charger uh, on this island. In fact, there's two rapid chargers at uh, mid-level chargers. So I, I don't really need to plug in, but i uh, just as well use it. And there's a little town on the other side of the island called uh, San Martin. Busy, busy beach. Very, very calm Atlantic. get back through that little gap there before the tide comes in I think be wise so uh, here I am at a charger in a place called Saint Martin de Rey um, for a start the Kia upgrade to the sat nav didn't really help me uh, very much here um, it insisted that the charger was actually in a hotel and uh, that you know when I arrived at the place you've now arrived at your destination um, and I spoke to some people there you know what, what are you doing here it's it's only for residence parking so I said yes there's supposed to be a car charger here no, not here so I showed him uh, the address that was on and he said oh no it's nowhere near here sir it's in the uh, it's, it's in the main square so um, found this place just opposite the Echo Maternal uh, but guess what rapid charging doesn't work i found this before with these particular chargers um ev box um they're used by um another supplier uh, in the region where we live um, this we're, we're in the uh, charente maritime now uh we live in a, a place called the de Sèvres, which, which is about 130 kilometers uh, inland from here and uh what happens is you 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 know it it uh recognizes your card and authorizes your card but then you know 90 seconds into the charging it just shuts it down so there's a software problem still going on here um, so I'm going to take a picture of this uh, uh, charger and uh, send a note to my e-Nero dealers um, so anyway it's working at uh, mid-level charger it's got one of those as well it's pretty cheap to use so I just put a couple of percent on and then I'll be on my way so it's been uh, almost two weeks now since I did that trip out to the uh, Ile de Ray. It's a very pretty place and I would recommend uh, if anyone's in this part of France to, to go and uh, take a look at it. Um, I've had several attempts at finishing off this video because I've been trying to determine um, what actually went wrong with the rapid charge uh, that I attempted there on, on the Ile de Ray. Um, and I've been in communication with the uh, service provider there, MobiV. Um, and also the uh, service provider uh, locally here, which are called uh, Seolis Alterbase. It's the local electricity company. Um, and I apologise to anyone who's already seen my uh, video that I posted last December when we went back to the UK. 
Um, but the, uh, the, the story, to, to recap as quickly as I can, was that when the car went in for its first service, it was about a few days before we were due to go back to the UK, and I plugged it into one of the local rapid charges there, and uh, it didn't work. And I thought, aha, what, the, what have they done on the service? Has something gone wrong here? Because same as on the Ilde Ray, um, on the Moby V charger, um, uh, it stopped after about 30 seconds. It, it, and, and the car was saying, you know, problem with the charger. And the, on the panel of the charger, it was saying problem with the car. So anyway, I've, uh, I've written to um, uh, the local company, Seolis Alterbase, um, to say, you know, ask them, have they still got this problem? Uh, because I had the same problem with one of the other providers out on the uh, Charente Maritime on the Ile de Ray. Um, and they came back to me very quickly and said, yeah, we know about this software problem. We're doing a patch, um, but we don't use the same charging machine as the people at Mobi v Vehicle Electric on the Charente, uh, where I tried to uh, charge it on the Ile de Ray. Um, their manufacturer uh, is um, EV Box, as you saw on the video, whereas the local people here use a French company called DBT. Um, anyway, I've checked on Charge Map um, for people who have plugged in around this area and given their comments, and I noticed that last week somebody with an e Nero plugged in. Um, to uh, one of the charges of uh, Seolis Alterbase and they had a successful charge. So it looks like they've done that patch, software patch, um, which they say affected also the Jaguar I-Pace. Um, and uh, I'm going to go out there. Uh, it's about six kilometers from here. It's, the, it's on the junction of the main north-south uh, road that goes down to Bordeaux. Um, I'm going to see if I can plug in and, and put some uh, kilowatt hours in the car. Um, anyway, I haven't heard a thing back from Moby VE. I wrote to them um, and say, hey, you know, uh, I plugged in twice and you charged me seven euro seventy, and I didn't get any any power. Um, and I'm actually disputing that with Charge Map. Um, but I wanted to. I asked them some questions about uh, the software, and I said, hey, you know, just across uh, the border there in Seolis Alterbase region, we had the same problem. But I've travelled all around France and in the UK and rapid charge, no problem at all, uh, other stations. So uh, but anyway, I haven't heard back from them, so we'll see. But anyway, uh, for the day, um, I started the day uh, with uh, the range on the car telling me it was 344 kilometres. That was 80% state of charge. I didn't think I needed to charge up to 100% for the, for the trip out there and back. Uh, but it was actually uh, a lot further than I thought. I, I ended up doing 322 kilometres for the day. Uh, but um, when I got back, I still had 13% of range, 13% um, sort of battery uh, state of charge and 58 kilometres uh, of range left. So um, that really indicates it was more like 380 kilometre range. But I think this is because when I started the day, uh, it was pretty cold. It was about nine or nine degrees, 10 degrees. And then quickly warmed up to 15 or 16 so I guess the battery was sort of happier and you know I, I ended up say having a uh, you know plenty of spare capacity left when I got back uh, anyway um, thank you for watching and uh, for those who've been subscribing I had quite a few new subscribers since the last video which is great thank you very much and the comments and questions which I try to answer that's really really helpful and all sort of adds to the learning sort of uh, of uh, owning an electric car and uh, I do hope everyone's keeping safe uh, we expect another announcement this evening from President Macron about the uh, situation here in France I guess there's going to be more restrictions things have got really out of hand recently um, certainly in the in the big cities the the you know the the, the infection rate seems to have gone up and everything so anyway um, thank you for watching again and uh, see you next time